why, for example, should the government uh, operate the schools? Well, the answer is that uh, everyone has a right for an education, and, uh, you know, someone has to step in and run the schools. Well, that's very fine. Uh, but everyone uh, has a right to a house, or at least needs a house, but the government doesn't build houses. Uh, everyone has the need for automobiles. The government doesn't build automobiles. Uh, the argument is that you can take the needs, which society recognizes as uh, important, like the need for education. And there are other ways to provide it. For example, why should the children of very wealthy people living in uh, very expensive suburbs, why should their children be entitled to go to a school, pay absolutely no tuition, and have uh, general tax revenues from the state finance it? They can afford to pay for their children's education. Why shouldn't they? Now, the argument is that, well, there are those people that can't afford to pay for their education. That's fine. Help those people. But uh, just because you have a marginal case of necessity doesn't mean that uh, you somehow have to have a blanket policy for the whole society, rich and poor alike. Uh, the proposal that's most frequently discussed in libertarian circles is to have the government give poor people, or everybody, if you will, if it's, if it's politically impossible to avoid subsidizing the rich, uh, give everybody a voucher equal to the per capita expenditure on education, and let these people take these vouchers to uh, private schools. Uh, maybe there's not enough schools today, but if you sell the physical plants of the public school system, there would be more schools. Also, if there's a, a very large demand for private schools, it will spring up uh, from you know, economic uh, observations. Whenever there's a demand, you can't expect a supply so to exist. So there, there would be businesses grow. Uh, exactly. Uh, uh, People would, would found, schools. found schools. There's an enormous amount of talent, both in the United States and in Britain. These are the two countries I read the studies on. Uh, an enormous amount of talent, teaching talent, is sort of locked in because the, uh, the women who were teaching uh, the lower grades got married and uh, are now housewives. Uh, this talent could be released if these people were allowed to set up dame schools, like, for example, we saw several hundred years ago before the model of uh, government-operated schools became popular. It, it's very interesting, you know, the, uh, the so-called American neighborhood school system uh, was originally based on the model of Prussia. Prussia was the first country, I understand, in the world to have universal state compulsory education. And somehow or other, the American intellectuals in the 19th century, the 1840s, 1850s, uh, thought that somehow this was really magnificent. And uh, they really wanted everybody to copy it. They uh, lobbied in their legislatures and got uh, tuition abolished in all government-run schools. And then they got schooling made compulsory. And by not charging any tuition and by taxing everybody to pay for them, they finally drove most private schools out of existence in those days. Uh, and it was mostly because they admired the Prussian way of doing things. It's very strange that somehow the origins of this have completely passed away. People don't admire Prussia anymore. People don't admire militarism anymore. Why do they admire state schools? And the reason is that uh, they grew up with it, their fathers grew up with it, their children are going through it, some sort of emotional commitment. But uh, a libertarian would like to look at a new way of doing something, some way that doesn't involve coercive government taxation, that doesn't involve uh, a compulsory assignment of your child to your neighborhood school. Uh, the Negroes in the ghettos, for example, would be much better off. They wouldn't even have this neighborhood school problem if they were allowed to go to any school uh, in the city, any school, any private yes. school.